Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a haul. I actually just got these bits in a couple of hours ago. This is from my Stackery order. And if you don't know what Stackery is, essentially it is a shipping service that ships stuff from the US to the UK. And you can kind of bundle all of your packages together so that you don't have to pay um, like crazy customs for like each package so that's what I've done um and I've got two orders I've got one from cloth and paper which is just a sub box and then I do have a plum paper or plum planner how do you say it? is it plum paper plum something um <laughs> I've got um a order from them as well so let's get into it okay so this is the first thing and I just double checked the back of it and it is called plum paper <laughs> um this is the I actually don't even know what it's called Okay, so I just searched it up and it is called the 7x9 Vertical Columns. I'm not going to go into too much detail with the planner or about the planner now, just because I will be doing a separate like review. But I just wanted to show you the front. Um, it is quite a nice sleek planner. Upon first kind of glance, I can see that the coil is quite small. It's a lot smaller than the Erin Condren. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. So I got that. I got a really nice cover actually. Um, you can kind of choose what you had on the front and I just got my initials and then the functional planner co it's obviously my channel name and my shop name this is just the back it's pretty much the same and then you get like a plastic thingy you can actually make these removable but I stupidly forgot to put it in the comments to make it removable but I really like the cover and I don't think I'll need to to change that anytime soon so yeah that is my seven by nine vertical columns planner like i said if you want to see inside stay tuned and i will have a review up on that very soon right now we're on to the cloth and paper sub box now today has been one of those days where it's just i'm just so ready for it to end it's been a really long work day i've had about 11 hours of work today um and i started before seven like my first meeting was before seven so there's that so this happy mail definitely was needed okay so the first things we've got are some dashboards uh we've got three and this is in the a5 size if you've watched <laughs> my louis vuitton video then you know my frustration with my situation if you haven't watched that video i will link it above definitely watch it it made me laugh editing because i was just so like ready for some excitement and i was just so disappointed but these are the three dash dashboards that you get this month one of them says iconic and i really like this actually i think they did um, a dashboard with like iconic but I feel like it was or icon and it had like the different I don't know it was laid out differently and I really like that and I don't think I got it I may have but I don't think I did and I really wanted it so I like the fact we've got this one then you've got this five which um I like but I kind of wish that they'd come with like maybe five of these there was one two three four five this was essentially to celebrate their five year anniversary which I get when I first saw it I actually thought these were um sticky notes and I was like oh that's gonna be cute like different sh shaped sticky notes but it's actually just a dashboard so I'm not sure where I'll use this but nonetheless it's cute and then the last one you've got kind of like an abstract design which they usually have at least one kind of abstract um dashboard in the set right the next thing I didn't even put with these guys because this is probably the coolest thing in the box by a mile and it is a laundry guide now this essentially has all of the little icons that no one actually knows what they mean and there's like descriptions for them which is just so cool this is probably one of the most useful things that you could get in a sub box and it's this really nice black color i think it's just like a thicker card um but yeah really love this and i will definitely this is something i'll use in every single a5 planner that i have so yeah really happy with that what have we got next okay so the next thing is the july 2021 style a5 um inserts now i'm guessing this is going to be something new that they've got for um next year or even maybe this year let me get it out so you do have um the month at a glance which i like because i one thing i didn't love about the inserts from cloth and paper they didn't come with a monthly overview and i like having this so i'm so glad they've got this but annoyingly um they gave us the july one which for someone like me who gets the box 14 days into july this isn't much use it's good for memory planning as well as i can still use it for the remaining remaining weeks but it's not great if you want to do like daily planning so i think in the future boxes they are going to put a month ahead so at least i'll have from next month i'll have september's and august so i'll be able to use the end of august and then the whole of september 
um, and then from next month essentially I'll be all caught up so that's good I like that and then you do have these inserts for um, the month which I actually don't have these inserts I've got the other ones which are like one day per page and I quite like these because I could potentially use the other one for like my daily to do's and then this one for work or the other way around. I probably will use the one with more spaces for work and then this one for my daily to do's like just for like Etsy and just personal stuff. So I'm really, really glad I've got that. Um, and I think I might actually start doing that in my planner, just having two sections. So yeah, really, really love these. And I'm so glad that they included them because I did want to try them, but I wasn't sure how much I'd make use of them. So at least I get the months um, at a time and then you get the last page is just blank and it just has that so i'm not sure i'll use that but you do get like a notes page as well which is pretty cool i like the fact they use they include different inserts next up we have what is this the new cornell insert so i've, I've mentioned cornell style note taking before and it's just got like um a subject box you've got notes and then you've got something at the bottom that you can like draw a diagram or just random notes spider diagrams things like that i'm guessing the whole set is just a bunch of cornell notes i might be wrong let's have a look yeah so you get a bunch of these i'm not sure how many's here but it looks like a lot which is cool um i will just show you up close because the writing is a little bit lighter the subject notes and then you just got a bank section there and again i don't know if i mentioned this at the start this is all a5 stuff that's the box that i get um right what are we doing next so we have got the dots um well no this is not the dots this is the sticker set and i'm yet to actually use these i feel like i've got maybe two or three sets of these now so this is in the color orchid which is just a purple and you get the corners the tape the squares and the hexagons and obviously it's the dots the circles so yeah they're i guess they're just nice to have for like minimal planning and obviously my style is kind of tending tending leaning towards um the minimal style of planning recently so they will come in useful next we have a little journaling card and i really wasn't a big fan of journaling cards before and then I started to see how people styled them and now I'm kind of obsessed. So yeah, love this. Uh, it just says the distance between dreams and reality is called action. And this is by unknown and it's just a white piece of card. And then you do have the two um, July cards, which again, I just wish that they included the month after um, because that would just help a little bit because like I said, it's halfway through the month. So I'm not even sure what I'll do with these um we'll see like i said they in the last video that you could probably use them as washi cards so that's nice so you have the creamy color and the black of those sort of july cards um but yeah they are cute but i'm just not sure i'll get a lot of use out of them being in the uk actually so and to be honest with you this is quite early for my stuff to come my stuff came within seven days of me shipping it and to be honest with you it could have come a little bit earlier but i was waiting on my plum planner it just took forever to arrive and the day it was meant to come it, i think it came like three days after it was meant to come to the US postal address I had, so yeah. Then we have got the Mademoiselle and Mink shape sticky notes, and these are really cool. I feel like you can never have too many sticky notes, and I love how small these are. Often we just get huge sticky notes, and you kind of just are overwhelmed with them. You don't know what to do with them. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love a large sticky note, but I do think that having a set of small ones as well is really nice just for little notes around your planner. So yeah, love that two pack, and I love. I actually love the hexagon shape. I don't actually have a hexagon shaped sticker pad, notepad rather. And then we just have um, a larger one. And this is like a huge one actually. And it's called Bubble Bath, which I love the name and I love the color of pink. So super, super cute. And they're just round ones. And then last but not least, which I'm actually very excited about because I purposely didn't peek into what this is, or I didn't look at the contents of it, but it's a five year plan insert so and i'm someone who loves like i am the biggest fan of just planning my goals and planning what i want to do and just looking to the future so to have this is really cool so it's like a five-year plan kind of kit almost and you've got like a whole bunch of just stuff like things to consider tips things like that and then you just have oh i love this you've got like a five years from now like notes page and then ask yourself what you're doing if today um, doing today is getting you closer to where you want to be tomorrow. I love that. And that's um, a little quote. And then you have like a bunch of uh, just questions really about getting to your five year plan. You've got a vision board page or two of them. Personal milestones. Another notes page. 
um, this is your professional goals and then you get the same thing which I think is really cool uh, what is this one financial oh god yeah I love this one actually because I love financial planning um, then what have we got financial and then I think the last one health and lifestyle which I love I am on a bit of a health kick at the minute and I want to make a video about it actually because I want to make myself feel a bit more accountable but I've been on like this healthy vibe recently and I've been loving it so yeah and the last section is health and lifestyle so i'm super excited to get stuck in and you know what i might actually make like a video on this i might make a video on what my five-year plan is um in all of these areas because i think it would be really fun and interesting to actually see um and you've got you've got so many boxes here that you can check in a few times a year so yeah that is the five-year plan went to my drawer so i didn't even see it to show you guys but this was also another thing that came in the sub box it's just the mademoiselle page flags which i'm so excited to have these two i love the color so guys that was my little mini haul of just some bits and bobs that i've recently got in the post like i said this was so needed this haul i just needed something to perk me up because today and this week in general has just been the longest of my life i hope you're all keeping well i hope you're all staying safe um, i know a lot of countries are going back into lockdown so if you are one of those countries please just be careful please be safe um let me know what you're up to let me know what you did today uh how's your day been um and yeah let's chat in the comments i hope you have a lovely lovely day wherever you are and i'll see you in the next video bye